want to do is bring the public closer to the police. We want people to see through the uniform. We want people to understand that these are just ordinary people, just like you and me, who are doing really very difficult and extraordinary jobs. So once we'd come up with the concept of we are you, we then thought through, well, which relationships did we want to focus on? And we ended up focusing on we are fathers, we are mothers, and we are granddaughters. Probably one of the biggest challenges is trying to fit all of these elements of a story and we're trying to con like condense it down into these little 60 seconds. It's always about time, you've got so many seconds and you're always dealing with seconds as opposed to minutes or hours even. I think the difference with this particular project is that you're trying to do so much. We're not selling a product, this is very different. It deals with uh, human nature, human life. John, the director, wants to film them like they're over the shoulder, you know, fly on the wall, because this is real situations that the police officers have to deal with every day. We just want to get the drama right and, and, and to show people that this is a vital service that these people provide for us in the community. England and Wales has challenges, Scotland has challenges, they pale into insignificance when it comes to um, policing in Northern Ireland and trying to change some of those public perceptions of the police. So for me, this feels a little bit like the, the pinnacle of what it's all been building up to. We Are You is a campaign to make the public in Northern Ireland more aware of what police officers are. They're not just the people in the uniforms, but they're not just the people who come and assist them at their hour of need. They are mothers, they are fathers, they are brothers, they are sisters, they are granddaughters. Um, we're just doing something slightly wider, and I want to see more into the room. Okay. Action! I think we're all too blasé, you know, just because someone wears a uniform, we think, well that's what their job is. No, it's not. They, they have to go through some hellish things. So I think it does no harm at all to remind us, the public, what they have to experience. Behind this uniform, these are people. They have children, they have relationships, wives, grandparents, some of them are divorced, some of them struggle with issues that, that the general public struggle with, and, and it's real.